evangelist Angela Thompson to bring us the bread of life. We ask you to stand to your feet as she come. Amen. And we ask you to, amen, say amen. amen. When the word of God come forth. Yes. So stand your right hand towards her and say, Vanessa Thompson, yes. preach the word. Yes. Preach the word of Vanessa Thompson. Yes. Congregation of Vanessa Thompson. Amen. amen. my life, Hallelujah. and to my pastor, District Elder, Don Derrick, Sorrell, right. all y'all can do better than that. Jesus stood up 
at the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm -hmm. And this was right before they were about to take him, but they were looking for Jesus to kill him. Yes, they were. And at every opportunity, they tried to get a chance to get to kill him. Mm -hmm. But this particular time, Jesus told his disciples, y'all go ahead and you go up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go up. They were, he was warned, and he wasn't concerned about the warnings. He was warned that they're going to kill you if they see you. So they started this feast, and Jesus was, was in the midst. They didn't even know he was there. Yeah. He stood up. Yeah. Out of all the times that Jesus was on the earth and giving his, doing his ministry, never did he stand out and say, I'm Jesus. Right. Right. Over here, hear me. Mm -hmm. Not once did he do that. Yeah. But this particular time, he stood up and he said, if any man thirst, yeah. let it come up unto me. Yeah. Amen. And I will give him water to drink. Yeah. This water that he speaks of is that Holy Spirit. That's right. We need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We need that Holy Ghost. Yeah. It refreshes and it renews and rejuvenates. It cleanses. It guides us. Yeah. It helps us. Yeah. We need the Holy Spirit. You can't live without the Holy Spirit and do right and be righteous and be holy. You need that Holy Spirit. You need that living water. You have to be thirsty because it's human nature to thirst. It is. You ever eat a meal and you get full off that meal but you don't drink anything? The body say, okay, what's going on with That's right. yeah. That's right. I need, I need some nourishment here. I need some, I need something to wet my lips with. I need something to drink. Amen. Yeah. And once you take that drink, it rejuvenates. You ever been out on a hot day and you drink an ice cold glass of water yeah. with the sweat running down on the side of it? And you hot? Yeah. But you take a sip. Yeah. You ever felt it run through your veins? Yeah. I have. That's right. I have. And I said, ooh, this is a good, <laughs> good drink of water. That's right. But it rejuvenates and it refreshes you. It gives you strength to go on a little bit farther on a hot day. The Holy Spirit is as such when it comes to the soul. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's like water That's right. that refreshes and cleanses. That's good. It quenches that thirst. Yes. What is the thirst? Mm -hmm. The thirst is after God. Mm -hmm. The soul longs for its creator. Yes, it does. It don't like the state that we put it in sometimes. That's right. This flesh. We, if the soul is trapped in this, yeah. we have our desires that when we go out and we sin and we do wrong, the soul is crying out, I need Jesus. Yeah. I need God. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Yes, Lord. I'm quite sure it will say, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Come on. I have to pay this price. Yeah. Yeah. I have to answer to God in the end. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on with it. There are sinners that surround in this neighborhood yeah. that thirst after God. Yeah. They need a solution. Right. They, do. Good. they need an answer yeah. to a problem yeah. that's ongoing on. that will not end in their minds. Mm -hmm. that's it, that's it. Yeah. They need to know about Jesus. Yes, they do. That can quench that thirst for their soul. Yes. This is why Ecclesia stands here today. Mm -hmm. It's not for glamour. That's right. That's right. It's not. That's right. It's not for just for us to gather together. Right. It's not. Right. We have work right. to do. Yeah. We have souls that need to hear about yeah. that water that quenches yeah. that thirst. For God. That's right. My God. My God. We have work to do, work saints. To do. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you come to church just to praise and to worship right. God. Right. Yes, yeah, it's man. our obligation. Yeah. 
We have to do that when it comes to God. But really, it's a work that God has given us to do. It's about saving souls. I say it time and time again. That door should always remain open when we're in here in session for a soul to be able to walk in freely. I thank God for a pastor that don't say, well, you got to have this on, you got to have that on, you got to be dressed a certain way. No, 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 no. Jesus said, come as you are. Hmm? You just ain't going to dress like the saints. How you going to dress like a saint you're not a saint? How you going to dress like us and you come from the world? Because we didn't dress like this when we came in. That's right. We didn't dress like this. The Holy Ghost trained us yes, and guided us. Yes, Put this on. Take that off. Yes, that don't look right. Yeah. Come on. That's right. So why would we expect for that to happen with a sinner that comes through the door? That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are here to help, yes. not to hurt. Mm -hmm. right. We are here to help. I said we are here to help. Yes. Not to hurt, not to judge, not to assume, but to help. We went to a conference a couple of days ago, and this man, I tell you, this 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 pastor he preached. Oh my Lord! As Pastor said earlier, he opened your eyes. You you felt inadequate when he got. That's right. You did. You felt like I'm not doing enough. I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Yeah. Hmm? What am I missing? Yes. He made you to check yourself. Amen. And it was good for me. Right. It was go. good for me. Yeah, yeah cut. Yeah, yeah it, it, it put me in a place that I didn't like. Right. But it was good oh, for me. Yeah. You're falling short somewhere, evangelist. You're not doing like you should be doing. That's right. This man's testimony will put anybody to shame. I don't have time to tell you the miracles that we watched. <laughs> that he did. My God. But I tell you, if you've seen it, you'd have thought Jesus was right there on that scene. Physically. I mean, what he did. You would have thought that Christ was right there. Mm. But he was a representation That's of Christ. Right. That's right. Now if he's a representation of Christ, what are we? Mm -hmm. God would do the same thing for us. Right. Same power. Same thing to set the captive free. Right. Same thing to pull down the stronghold. He would do it for us. But you got to have a mind to work. You have to have a mind to work. And you have to have a thirst for God. Yeah. Right. Yes. When you have a thirst for God, it's nothing that you won't do for God. That's right. Nothing. That's it. You're talking good. First thing you'll say is, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When you need me, I'll go. That's right, Baptist. Hallelujah. We have to get up and do the work. Right. Time is short, yes, see? It is. It's so short. Mm -hmm. You can't assume anything anymore. Yes. Not anymore. We were talking about second chances in Sunday school. This is not the hour to think that God going to give you that third chance. This is not the hour. Maybe 30 years ago, but now is not the hour. Do it right. just in case yes. he comes. Mm -hmm. Be obedient to the word of God. That's what it does. He's like water to my thirsty soul. Mm -hmm. David said, I pan after him like a, a deer panting after the water brook. He right. desired God. Right. And that's what God wants from us. He wants us to desire him. That's right. 
He longs for us to have a relationship with him. And not push him away. And not make him convenient. Right, make him convenient. According to what you want. That's right. He wants to be your all-time God. Every day, every hour, every minute, every moment of your life. He wants you to wake up and breathe him in. He wants you to lay down at night and just cry out to him. He wants you there with him. This is the hour, the time to thirst after God as never before. There's going to come a day when the preaching won't be here. Yeah, come on. That's right. You won't be able to hear the preacher preach anymore. Come on. Right. You're going to look for Bibles. It's going to be outlawed. Uh-huh. I pray that we all are in heaven when that goes on. Come on. But now is the hour to thirst after him. Now is the time to seek him like never before. Amen. While he can yet be found. Yes, Lord. He can be found. Don't wait. Don't wait. Stop, waiting. Stop waiting. It's not going to help you. That's right. And it's not. It's a trick of the enemy mm-hmm. to make you think I'm okay. Uh-huh. I'm all right. Uh-huh. I'll do it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. It's not. It's not. I was sleeping one night, and I tell you, I lay there, and I lost my breath. I couldn't take the second breath. In my mind, I was dreaming, and I thought, oh, I'll just breathe again. I'm like, and I jumped up, and I said, see, I control your breath. I control your breath. Yes, he does. That's the worst right. feeling in the world. Right. 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 When your breath is cut off, uh-huh. that's the worst. Yeah. I mean, everything runs to your mind. Am I ready? That's right. Lord, am I ready? How good that is. But he let me see that and feel that. Worst feeling in the world. Yes, but he showed me how much control oh, that he yeah. had over my life. In a moment, in a second, I could take your life. Yeah. And it's my mercy yeah. that I allow you to wake up again. Yeah. To take that next deep breath. It was my mercy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do that. But I thank him again for those moments. There are reminders I, that I am nothing but dust. That's right. Come on here. Nothing but dust. And he is in full control of my life. I have to depend on God. Yeah. In spite of what goes on, I have to depend on God. Come on. It doesn't matter what's de- what I'm dealing with in life. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Yeah. But God promised he'll deliver us out of them all. No matter what the devil try to do, God's going to deliver you out of that thing. You just have to remain faithful to God. You just have to trust in God, believe in God, have faith in God. And he's going to deliver you out of that thing. I don't care how long it is. Don't count the minutes. Don't count the moments. Let me see, that's 10 minutes ah, there. He ain't came yet. Yeah. Oh, it's been two hours up. I'm about to die. <laughs> 10 years passed. Oh, Lord. You better be holding on. You better be having faith. That's right. He wants us to thirst after him. Like never before. These are the final hours, people. These are the final hours. He's soon to come. And I and we've been hearing that. And I need to tell you, we've been hearing that a very long time. 
And we are much, 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 much closer. Yes, we are. Than we were back then. Mm -hmm. But he wants us to thirst because these are the final hours. He wants us to chase after him. You should be chasing God. When the church doors are open, you should be all rushing in. Like, no, 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 move, move out my way. I need to get in here. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You should be running each other over trying to get a seat. Back in the day, they used to say, excuse me, uh, you're in our seat. Yes, they did. Don't you sit in all of them. Don't you sit in a mother's seat. And that's what Easter, or Resurrection Day, we call it, but the world call it Easter. Easter. Mm -hmm. But we are in a dire situation. People should be really yeah. tearing that door down, trying to get in here for safety. Mm -hmm. That's right. Safety. Mm -hmm. So you're blessed to be sitting in the house of God on today, this morning. You are blessed. You are blessed that God allows you to step another door into this house. You are blessed that He gave you the strength to wake up this morning. You are blessed. I'd rather be among the few than the many. I'd rather be in the church with two people. We'll preach to each other. No, no, I think the word say this. Empty. <laughs> Empty church. It don't matter to me. That's right. Mm -mm. That's mm -mm. As long as I'm in the house of God. Hallelujah. As long as I'm dwelling here Hallelujah. in the house of God. Yes, Lord. My soul thirsts. <laughs> he has saved my soul. He has filled me with his Holy Ghost. And ever since then, my soul has thirsted yes. after God. Mm -hmm. you must. How much more, Lord, How much more? you got for me? Yeah. Yeah. We, nobody wants that anymore. They say, oh, you know, I'm saying, I did my duty. I tell you, I mm -hmm. praise and worship, yeah. pay my tithe, yeah. pay my yeah. offering. Yeah. All right, we're right. going home. That's it. That's what they feel. My show coming on at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be there. Gotta be there. You know, this episode uh -huh. is a triple episode. Yeah. I can't miss that. <laughs> 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 My soul thirsts after God. No longer do they want to sit an hour, uh -huh. 45 minutes, uh -huh. 30 minutes, uh -huh. 10 minutes. Uh -huh. They're ready to go uh -huh. after five minutes. Uh -huh. They don't want to give God the time that he gave them. Uh -huh. Now is the hour to thirst after God. Yes. To chase after him like never before. Don't listen to the enemy. That's right. He said, it's not in my will that any should perish, but all come unto repentance. Yes. And repentance is not hard when you're sincere with God. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired, of being sick and tired of being, I've been there. Yeah. That song for a very long time. Yeah. Until I said, I'm done with this. I gotta go. I gotta go home. This, this is not working for me. But this is where God wants us. He wants us to thirst as never before in these last days. That's right. Because time is winding up. He said, warn the people. Time is winding yes. up. And you may say, man, if they say that one more time, it's going to be a day you're going to wish. Yes. 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 You're going to wish that they said it. 
time is right enough. That means you had some more time. Yes. But there's going to come a day when you won't have no more time. That's right. That's it. That's good. Hallelujah. God is not playing with us. Hallelujah. This is this thing is real, y'all. Yes. And it's coming to pass. Mm -hmm. The things that we have been taught and preached on a couple of years ago, we're seeing it. We're actually yeah, seeing what Bishop Young used to preach all the time. Right, right. We're all starting to see this stuff. Yeah. Men are lovers of love themselves. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Their hearts are waxing cold. Yes, nobody care about nobody no more. Oh, you do you, I'll do me, and we're going to be just fine. That's what they say. Nobody said have that, that, that desire of need. See, as long as you feel you need something or need someone, yes. then there's possibility that you're going to need God. Amen. But when you lose that feeling of need, yes. Come on. how are you going to need God? Because you think you can do it yourself. And you can't. What are we going to teach this generation? This generation needs much, much prayer. Much prayer. Much direction. Much help. Don't take God out of your conversation when you talk to your children. Amen. Keep Jesus in the midst of your conversation. Those little bitty babies are precious to God. Train those children the way they should go. Keep Jesus in their conversation. They know Jesus better than we do. They do. You say Jesus? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Jesus. They can barely pronounce Jesus. <laughs> but they know it. Yeah. They know it. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Because some mother taught them. That's right. But these are generations that you may not even be around to see. That's right. And you don't want to answer to God and God's to tell you this is you know children are gift. Yeah. What did you do with the gift? Yeah. Come on. Man. Did you train the gift like you should have trained that gift? Right. Did you raise up that gift that I gave you the way you so raised up that gift? Hallelujah. What are you going to tell him? Oh, well, Lord, you know, you know this generation. That's no excuse. That's right. It's not. It's no excuse. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is the same as he was yesterday, yes, he is. today, and forevermore. That never changes. Maybe society changed, maybe children changed in the way they think, but Jesus is the same. The same thing that he did back when he walked the earth is able to be done this day. We witnessed that. The glory of God is still here. Don't let it go to waste. Hear me, people, hear me. This is the plan of Make up your mind. Mm -hmm. Make up your mind. Make it up. The thirst after God is never before. Mm -hmm. I told you before, if you don't read the Bible, sometimes people read the Bible, I don't understand, none of this, none of this, okay? Go to another version mm -hmm. that makes it plain. Not everybody makes it plain, though. Mm -hmm. But make sure you read a version. Go to your pastor. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what should I read? Where I can understand what I'm reading. What, 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 what version should I use? Mm -hmm. hmm? So I can understand what God is saying to me. Mm -hmm. And I can pass that on to my children. Mm -hmm. And plain English here, this is what God means. That's right. hmm? That's right. But we don't want to train our children like that no more. Because mm -hmm. they got minds of their own. Mm -hmm. They have desires of their own. No, my Do like we did in old school. You gonna hear this? <laughs> you may not want to hear, but you gonna hear. You may not like it, but you gonna hear. There you go. Have a seat. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Have a seat. I'm gonna train you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you with something. You can't see it now because you look. But as you grow, 
and become yeah, an yeah, adult, right. Come on. you'll understand what mama was saying. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get it. And you'll be thankful mm -hmm. that she took the time out. Yeah. Or your father took the time out to train you mm -hmm. in the way of God, in the way of Jesus. You'll be faithful that they taught you the right way. Hallelujah. But we are to become witnesses to others. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We are to help others. Yeah. You sitting on gold and you sitting here being stingy with your gold. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You being stingy. I got weight. All of these is not happening. You've been stingy with the word. You're supposed to be a witness. That's right. Freely give them that gospel. That's right. Freely teach them the way to go. Freely guide them on where they should go. The word is precious. That is not for yours to keep. <laughs> it never was. Even Jesus shared. Mm -hmm. Come on now. He shared the gospel with his disciples. He shared. Mm -hmm. We see people and we see a want, uh, a soul standing on the corner begging for money. Yeah, you know, give them, give them a sandwich. Mm -hmm. But inside that bag, put a verse. Yeah. Ask God to, to give you something to, to give to that person, that individual. Oh. Yeah. If you don't think they can read, then they go to draw a picture. <laughs> draw Jesus with his eyes open wide. I know that's Do something true. to help somebody. Right. <laughs> don't keep it to yourself. That's right. It's too good. And this is life or death. That's right. Life or death. The same way they lay down in that dirt, it's the same way they're going to rise up in that dirt. If they lay down holy, they're going to rise up holy. If they lay down wicked and, and sinful, they're going to rise up wicked and sinful. And you have to think like that. These souls need God. They need Jesus. They need him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But he's like water, water. for my thirsty soul. Yes, he is. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. If anybody wants prayer, I'm going to have some prayer. You can come and